If you're looking for a fade in and fade out effect that looks like this, you should continue watching this tutorial. Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today we are going to be doing a circle, fade in and fade out effect in Unity. A bit like what you might see in Animal Crossing or Super Mario Wonder. Let's get into it. So, I have got an empty project. Firstly, you're going to need a black square image and also a circle image. Next, we're going to right click on our hierarchy, go to UI and go to Canvas. Inside our canvas, we're going to right click, we're going to go to UI and we're going to go to Image. And we're going to drag and drop a Mewtwo onto this image and we'll set the size to be native. This is going to be the thing that we're going to reveal with our circle fade effect. Next, we need to right click on our canvas and then right click and go to UI, then go to image. And we're going to call this circle. This is going to be our circle fade object. And set the sprite to be the circle, then click on add component, and we're going to type in mask to add a mask component. Then you want to untick show mask graphic. You might want to have this ticked while you figure out the size. But we'll click on set native size for now. Then untick show mask graphic. Now, click on your circle object in the hierarchy and right click, click on UI, click on image, and we're going to call this black. Set the sprite to be your black square. I'm going to set the size to be 1920 by 1080. And doing this, you'll be like, okay, Max, you've got a circle mask effect, but it's not what I want. And don't worry, we're going to do a tiny bit of code to make it so the black square renders, but will have a transparent circle in the middle. Once we do that, we can use an animation to change the size to do a circle reveal or a circle hide. So let's get right into it. So you want to right click in your assets folder, click on create, go to C sharp script. We're going to call this cut off mask UI. Once it's created, open it up. So we've got a completely empty script. And firstly, at the top of your code, make sure you have using Unity Engine, using Unity Engine.UI, and using Unity Engine.Rendering. We're going to be making our own UI image, and then we're going to be modifying how we use the material of the image to impact how the mask affects it. On this line of code where it has public class cutoff mask UI, Normally you'd have a mono behavior, however, we're going to change that to image because you want to inherit from the image class as opposed to the mono behavior class. Next we're going to do public override material, material for rendering. We're going to be overriding this unity function, which is part of the UI image. We want to slightly modify whatever material is attached to our sprite, so it gives us the circle fade or in or fade out effect. And inside we've got a few lines of code. We're going to do get, and then we're going to have these curly brackets. And inside we're going to do material, material, equals new material, base dot material for rendering. So this is going to get the current material attached to our UI image. Then we're going to do material.setInt, stencil comp, int compare function dot not equal, and convert that to an int. Then return this material to wherever we call the function. So basically, before Unity renders our UI image, it's going to use the material that's attached to it. And regardless of what material is attached to it, we're going to set a value that's a property of that material called stencil comp, with an underscore before it. And I won't go too much into detail, but basically, in the context of what we got here, what's going to happen is, we're going to tell Unity, right, any part of this black shape that's underneath the mask is not going to be rendered and the rest of our UI image will be rendered. You'll see in a second, but save your work and then go back into Unity. We're going to go to our image, which is called black, and we're going to click on the three arrows here and click remove component for the, for the image. We don't need it. Then you're going to drag and drop your cut off mask UI script. Oh my gosh, look what happened already. We've done nothing. We already have a cutout of a circle that matches our mask here. So we're going to drag and drop our black sprite onto it. So as you can see, we've now got a circle cutout on our black screen, which is great, but now we need to animate it. So go to your canvas, 
Click on window, go to animation, then go to animation to open up an animation window. Then we're going to click on create and we'll call it open any. Then we're going to click on the little padlock here. We're going to click on the record button. We're going to go to about one minute in and we're going to click on our circle. And as you can see, it's got a thousand by 750 as its circle size. This is going to differ though, depending on your circle. So we're going to go to zero, zero and we're going to click on the thousand and set it to zero. We're going to go to the 750 for the height and set it to zero. Everything's hidden. Now we're going to go to the one minute mark. We'll do 1000 by 750. You can't change the scale because that's going to impact the black square. You need to modify the width and the height because that's only going to affect our circle, not the square beneath it. So we'll do a little circle reveal like that, but we could set this to, I don't know, be 2000, I don't know, 4000 by 2000 to do like a full circle reveal away, I guess. Then we're going to go to the two second mark and we're going to click on add keyframe. Then we're going to go to the three second mark and do zero, zero. Then we're going to stop recording and we're going to hit play. Look, we have a circle reveal. Now I am going to say this. It looks a little weird because I've put in the wrong width and height. If you take the time to get the right values, it'll look more like a proper circle reveal. So I took a little bit of time to modify the values. And look, we have a much smoother circle fade effect. And obviously you can modify the speed. But anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.